Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is that time of month again when we are doing our completed pages for you guys to see. I'm just taking off my slippers because it's getting ready for bedtime. I'm sitting in the bedroom. I'm gonna watch some YouTube, do a bit of colouring afterwards. Okay, so I coloured 18 pictures in June. A lot of them are patterns, so yeah, there's a lot of patterns. And there are a lot of jade summers. It was jade in June month, to be honest, even though I never bothered to hashtag mine for some reason. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all the patterns first and then all the actual pictures. Um, just a disclaimer, this is an adult channel. Some of the pictures are, would be not adult related in the sense that they're pornographic or anything, but they might be like horror ones. Not in this one. They're all pretty, pretty cool pictures. Um, so this is, a, this is a channel for adults, not for children. None of the videos are made for children. It's been a long month. It seems like this month has gone on forever, um, but it hasn't. It's only 30 days. I don't know. Maybe it's because it's brighter longer and we're spending more time outside. Not this week, because it's horrible. Let's get started, shall we? <laughs> Otherwise, I will just ramble on all day long. Right. So the first one I did was in uh, Intricate Flowers. It wasn't necessarily the first one I did actually, but uh, it's one of the ones I did uh, in Intricate Flowers by Jade Summer. This is one of the pattern books. I love pattern books. I just sit here at night or out in the garden or when Jennifer's still up and just color in these pattern books. Like I said before, if Jennifer scribbles over what I've done, it's not a major issue. She doesn't, she's pretty good actually. And that was the ones I did last month. So, oh gosh. And I did this one all pinks and yellows and greens oh I'm terrible I am so uh yeah again this was just with various glitter gel pens um some of them were link shine some of them were various other brands I don't remember what they are but I do like I said I just like sitting and coloring the patterns they're nice and easy to do they're relaxing when I'm not doing really complicated pictures I do like that um, the next one is from 100 Swirls. Um, again, Jade Summer. Lots of Jade Summer. I'm going to explain what we'll be doing in July in a moment. So this would have been done with Sharpies, I believe, looking at it. Um, yeah, that's Sharpies, definitely. It's gone through on the back, but I obviously put something between the pages. Again, Sharpies lend themselves so well to this kind of picture, and I've been doing the backgrounds on these ones. It just fills it in. Um, nice and easy one. Again, just do it when I'm watching TV in the evening or watching a movie. Nothing too complicated on that one. And the next one is the Animal Mandala book. Again, Jade Summer. Most of these, the pattern books are Jade Summer. I think there's one that's not. Um, and I think it's the, yeah, it'd be the first one in the book I did, which was uh, this one. Again, this one was done with Sharpies. You can tell that by the colours and it's gone through. Oh no, it hasn't. It can't have been Sharpies. I'm looking at it thinking, if it's not Sharpies, what is it? Might have been twine markers then. Twine markers. Even the background was twine. Yeah, it was twine markers. Yeah, it was twine markers. So I'm just not with it. Um, but yeah, it's another one. Just a pattern. Another one is the Summer Book by Jade Summer. Again, this is mostly patterns. There are some pictures in it as well, but it is mostly patterns. I do like patterns. And I just, again, I do them in order. So there's that one. Again, that one. I'm not sure. I'm going to look at the back so I know what it is when I see the back. That was Sharpies. You can tell because you can see the, the pen going through it oh gosh I'm stiff um but yeah I mean I really enjoyed this just this is nice just enjoyable just to sit and chill with a, one of those in the evening the next one is the Stefino Miro book easy uh, flower mandalas this is one with the back backgrounds black backgrounds again I'm coloring them in order and I what I did with this one this was used I'm going to say this was the twine markers. Yeah, it was. And I just literally got them all out and I used each colour one at a time and just did them until I finished it. And it was fun. It's not something I do very often, but I just enjoy it. It's a nice way of seeing all the different colours. 
Next one is the 100 uh, Amazing Patterns by Jade Summer. Paul's colouring in this one at the moment, so I'll put this one side to go back downstairs. I did the first page. That's Super Tips. Crayola Super Tips, they're great for these pattern books. Paul's using them as well at the moment. So again, mostly, like I said, patterns at the moment. I put all the proper pictures at the end. There's not too many more now. Uh, Mandalas for Beginners, again by Jade Summer. Let me put that one out of the way so I remember to take it down to give it to Paul. Again, just the first picture in the book. I've done this with uh, metallic glitter gel pens, or metallic gel pens. Uh, some sort of metallic pen. I can't actually remember which ones it was. I think it was a brush pen I got. So I've only ever used them once. And they don't look too bad. They're not... I don't think metallics look pretty, particularly good, but it came out okay. It was just something to try. Um, then a swirls uh, for beginners. Again, it's a Jade Summer book, and I did the first one on the page. This was done entirely with glitter gel pens, as you can see by the sparkliness. I love the sparkliness. Um, yeah, a mixture, not particularly one brand. There's some Link Shine in here and some various other brands I've got. They're all mixed up in a bag, apart from the new ones. There are teasers and the jelly rolls. But, uh, yeah, that's that one. I like that. I just thought I'd do, I thought I could do a black background. It took up the background one whole black pen and a bit. And that black pen, I had used it a little bit, but not very much. One more pattern and then we're on to the main pic, the, the, the proper artistic pictures. Not necessarily proper artistic pictures, but, you know, unicorns, colour in heaven and so on. And this one is the Camellia Angel Cover Sun and Moon Mandala book because I love this one. I'll probably colour in this book again this month. And I again do the first one in the book and I just love the way this looks it's so sparkly again it's just a mixture of gel pens I'm trying to use up all the odd bits uh, some of it is link shine some of it's just random other pens but I do love the way that that one sparkles I'll put that to one side because I do want to colour in that one again I'm tempted to use the jelly rolls in there, even though they're really expensive and I don't want to actually use them up too quickly. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, so the first, the next one was one we did on as a colouring chat, which was a Jade Summer Unicorns. And we did this one. Oh, I like this one. I do like this book. Um, so we did this one with the Arteza Everblend and the Touch New Skin Tones and um, yes there is some glitter gel pen on the gems and on obviously the unicorn's horn and his bandages on his fetlocks so but yeah that was fun doing that one I enjoyed that I, like, I do like using the markers Next one I did was in light fantasy. I'll just take a piece of paper out now because I like to put a piece of paper in because if you press quite hard, and I do sometimes by accident, the black on the back will go on to the bottom the next page. I noticed that while I was doing the Black Widow swatching in, in the Jade Summer book, swatch book. But I did this one using the Black Widows. I really love this one. I only finished this one tonight not that long ago I finished it. I only had the, the stonework to do so so that I'm, they're a mixture of pen pencils from all five sets I need to photograph that one and put that on the Black Widow's page next one again Jade Summer is weddings this is um, a picture I did for the Crayola video which I'm currently working on and it's just to show you that you can get good results from Crayola colouring pencils the, the kids version not the the sort of artist ones that they've got and I just did the first page um his suit's not brilliant but I was I'm quite pleased with the way it came out the picture I'm working on for the video is actually <clears throat> a colour in heaven book I always use that to demonstrate pencils because it's got very good pen paper in it and it also 
if I always use that page, that book, and uh, those books and that, that type of paper, it's going to show you how the different pencils react to that, that kind of paper. So I might do one with the Prismacolors and the feelers and the Erodotons and so on. And the, uh, and the um, Prismas, Polychromos, whatever. Do one from each of them so that you can see. But I'll just colour it and, and show it like this. So that was that one. I'm rambling for no reason. <clears throat> Last but one Jade Summer Book is Everyday Horror. I actually started the picture in this two years ago and I hated it. So I didn't want to finish it. And it was my colouring, not the picture, because I picked a picture I really liked. And it was the vampire, well, the vampires at the co water cooler, or as I call it, the lawyers at the water cooler. And uh, I can't remember what pencils I used on that. i got to be honest, I don't know. I really don't know. It might have been Black Widows. It was probably a mixture because I'd already started it. But I don't remember. But that was as far as I was going with that, and that took long enough. It's a, it's a funny book, this one. It's out of print now, but it is. Some of the pictures are quite detailed, but uh, yeah. So I finally finished my picture from Everyday Horror. So I've got a stack of whips that have been hanging around for a while, and I try and finish one a month. That's what I'm trying to do. So I will try and finish one of those. And the last, very last Jade Summer book for this month is Kawaii Horror. Let me just take the paper out because um, obviously I used the markers in this one. I, it's a shame it wasn't, they didn't put it out in grayscale because that would have been awesome. Um, but I did this one with the Everblend uh, markers. It's okay. It's not brilliant, but it's okay. I'm quite happy with the way it turned out and I, I like it. And I will use pencils in this book as well as markers, but uh, that's that one. And then the next one we did was Magical Delights. Now we did most of this on camera, the one from that, but I didn't do the background on camera and it took me ages to do the background. And we used the Polychromos pencils and that was this one. And this used up pretty much the rest of my pine green. I've all, I have now got another pine green. I didn't haul it in my haul, but I did buy pine green. Cause it's really quite short, but I really like the way this came out. I love the way that the, the pomegranates look, I love the background. I haven't photographed this one and put it on my Instagram, but I will do. And I'm terrible at sharing them in my, my colouring group, which if you remember, if I do apologise, I just tend to put the links to the videos in there. And it's not what that's supposed to be about, so I need to be good in in July. So that's that one. I'm really pleased I, I was brave enough to do one in that book, because this book is not cheap. And I do want to get the next one soon. Last two books are Colour in Heaven. I've got the Colour in Heaven collection, Sarah Kay. I've done two in this one. The books are going everywhere. Um, and I used the WH Smith watercolours in this because I just think this really lends itself to watercolours. And so I did this one, which is Nature Gardening. And this is all done with WH Smiths, um, including part of the skin, although I did use my Derwent skin tones on there, my Academy ones. Um, but the next one was completely done with the uh, WH Smiths, including the skin. And that was this one, which is Animal, Sarah and Trousette. And I really loved the way this turned out. I absolutely adore this picture. And I just think the watercolours work so well. So when we do the um, Castle Arts first impressions, I'll swatch them. I'll tell you what I think about the way they handle. And then we will colour in this one. And I'll just do, carry on with, uh, probably carry on as a colouring chat with this one. So that'll be starting in the next day or so. Which is that one. Really like this one. Now the next one I didn't actually do a background on and because it, it's from the dragons book which I'll be colouring again this month because I really want to do the frost dragon um, I'm, and I'll probably just mix pencils with that to get the different shades of blue I want because I'll use the prismas because they've got lovely blues but I'll probably also use some black widows but I did the European dragon and this took a long time and this is my European dragon this was done with the black widows of course 
<laughs> they seem to be my go-to pencil at the moment. I can't wait for the new set to come out. And I'm very, very proud of this and it took ages. So if you want to see one that's got similar scales, like that's how the scales looked before I coloured them and that's how they look now. And it was, uh, in some cases, it was colouring each scale individually. And then with the treasure, I did some gold and then I put some just some glitter gel on just to make some of the gold stand out of it. So those are the pictures I coloured in June. And I'm very proud of the, the pictures I did. I mean, the patterns are just for fun. They're real relaxation, but I'm really proud of the pictures. So what are my plans for June, July rather? Well, obviously we always do a Christmas in July. So I will be colouring one Christmas page a week and it'll be a book I haven't coloured in. So I do have a couple of Jade, well I've got three Jade Summers I haven't coloured in for Christmas. I'm not saying I'm going to do all of those, but I will definitely be doing at least one. Other than that, I'm going to try and avoid, other than patterns, Jade Summer books. And I might even try and avoid the pattern books because I've got so many other mandala and pattern books like the Camellia Angel Cove ones that I haven't coloured in and some other one, pattern ones I haven't coloured in that I'm going to use those first. I have got one Jade Summer colouring book that I am working in and that will be, that's a pattern so I will finish that off this month. But I'm going to try and avoid colouring Jade Summer other than one of the Christmas pictures. I haven't chosen what pictures I'm going to be colouring this month other than there'll be one from Sarah Kay, I want to do another Dragons one and there'll be four Christmas pictures, one every week. Obviously I'll be colouring in the next uh, Colour in Heaven one, which looks like, I'm not going to give it away, but it looks really good. It's not somebody I've got a book on, so I'm very excited. Um, but my whole plan this month is to try and colour in a more varied amount of book. I have got a Kirby Rosanna's Whip on the go, so I'll be working on that. You never know, I might finish that this month. I've, I've made good inroads on it. But I'm not rushing it. I, I, I got, you know, I, I don't want to wreck it. Um, I want to colour in one of my Selena Fennec books. I've got so many books I want to colour in. So I will probably go and pick about four or five that I'm going to start in over the next few days. I'll keep out Sarah Kay, obviously, because I'll be using that. And uh, that's it, really. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to try and avoid colouring Jade Summer. We're going to have a bit of a break other than the Christmas book and the one I'm currently working in. Because I'm aware that a lot of what I colour in are Jade Summer books, because I do buy a lot of them. And I don't want it to just be a Jade Summer video channel. There are other books I've got, so uh, we'll take a break. And then next, in August, we might just colour one or two Jade Summers like we would everything else, so... That's it. I hope you've enjoyed watching this uh, completed pages. It's been a long old haul again this month, um, but I've had a brilliant time. I've had a blast. Uh, I love colouring for you and I love colouring with you and I love watching your videos. So as I always say in these videos, if you have a channel, leave your link down below or say, hey, I've got a channel. I'll click on your picture. And if I'm not already subscribed, I will subscribe to you. It's a promise. Um, you won't see my name because I don't uh, let anybody know which ones I subscribe to but generally if I subscribe to you I will comment on your videos I hope you've enjoyed this give it a thumbs up if you have and I will see you very soon in July bye guys <laughs>